we visit Blackie's Hot Dog Stand, a Connecticut tradition since 1928. Over the years, little has changed. They serve signature hot dogs and burgers made fresh daily with their homemade pepper relish. The menu is simple. All you need to know is how many to order. One, two, or three, and the cheese. Translation, three hot dogs and one cheeseburger. Great. Uh, great, how you doing? Uh, we're gonna get two dogs. Yeah. One and one. The famous Blackie's relish is a secret family recipe. Many will tell you the relish is not like other relishes. Rather than being sweet, it is a spicy pepper relish. Note, no pickles are harmed in the making of the Blackie's relish. This is a potential disaster, Vito. Well, that's why, that's why I wore this horrible outfit. How am I gonna get back in the car? <laughs> My hands are full. The car is locked. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to carry the it's hot dog. It's a hot dog. dog. It's one hot dog. Yeah, and I got the phone with everything oh in it. Oh my God, it's the phone. Did you get enough uh, shots? I got a shot with the, the, the space station with the, with the, with that, with the, with the thing. Did you, but did you get like the menu board and all that? Not the menu board, don't worry. Did you get enough stuff in there? Yeah. People, that's what the people want. I get it. Ah. <laughs> Oh, what's the worst that could happen here? I drop a dog in the car. That would be the worst. I, I, I snag some napkins. All right, yeah, oh, that's good. My phones and stuff. Oh my god! All right, here we go. Blackie's dog. Uh, this is the thing I'm telling you about, Vito. You're too close. But if you do it here, you could zoom in. Yes. Well, you know, I'm saying that. What do you want? I from told me? you for months. To what do you back want? Back a little me? further. A little further. Think well, angle. I just sit in bit. the back seat with the hot dog, then. <laughs> See, look at that. Yeah, well, you got your own special uh, loot dog camera. I now, we got the twin dogs there. Look at well, that. Well, now you're in the shade, so it's not as good. Well, I just want my relish to fall into your freaking lap. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we got a we got a pair of dogs there. I just did the spicy mustard and the relish. Lou, you did the works. I did the works. Technically, the works: ketchup, mustard, and their their house relish, which it's got. A, it smells great. You got a whole jar of it. Look at the jar. Is that too close for you? Well, they, so there's no sun. They get the reflection and oh everything. Oh my god. Look at All right, that. we got that. Oh All right, yeah. I got this for my wife so she could be like, oh, you did something for me today. Well, because she can't eat the hot dogs yet. Oh, yeah, she could put the relish on. I don't know what the hell you can eat when you're pregnant, but. All right, here we go. You ready? Here, I'm, I'm excited. I've had blackies before, but only handful. I've times. never had blackies. Really? I've never. Oh, I don't man. live around here. It's like this is this is a bit of a haul for me to get uh, to get out here and have a hot dog. Actually, last time I got it was during COVID, so mm. the relish was in a container, so it wasn't the ex authentic experience. Uh huh. But this is authentic. All right, you cheers it. I want all the stuff to fall. Chin down. Here we go. Chin chin. Here we go. Blackies. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, there is some spice to that. Mm. Wow. I wish I looked new what the price was. I didn't look. <laughs> I, I don't know how much the relish was. I just we paid fourteen. I know. 15. I don't know what the price. You, do. you just grabbed them. And went, I don't care. We're not doing paying the show. attention. Here. I could probably check. I know where I put the, put the phone. I can review the the footage. Well, eat your dog. Stick <laughs> stick that wiener in your mouth. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, please man. don't please don't spill my car. Well, too late. Uh. Oh my gosh, stain in my shirt already. How old is that hoodie? Mm, actually, this is really old, probably like 20 years old. Oh my God. What year is it? I said with the ugliest outfit possible. I think I nailed it. I, I mean, this this relish is awesome. This Holy is good. Hell. And it's definitely, it's, it's you could see, not your not your uh, your neighbor's relish here. This no. is like a different different texture, different flavor, different taste. Definitely not like a sweet relish, you're like a Heinz relish you're getting with that no. bright green. And it's not like the typical like, Usually I think a hot relish, I think of like cherry pepper relish, where it's like there's cherry peppers all chopped up a little vinegar or whatever. This is different. And this is good. Mm. No, I'm, this is really good on a hot dog. I'm liking the the jar I got here. Yeah, I, let me see I, that real quick. I feel like this could go good on a sandwich. You make a sandwich, you yeah. put a little bit of that on. Yeah, this is better for more than just hot dogs. Mm. Green bell hot peppers. Blackie's hot dogs have been a Connecticut staple since 1928. 1928? This is almost 100 years for this place. It's almost as old as my hoodie. <laughs> we invite you to relish. <sighs> we invite you to relish in one of Connecticut's oldest traditions. That sounds like a that's a dad joke. Right yeah, there. worked Perfect on me. Mmm. I, I put the spicy mustard on there, but there was a nice spice to that. Yeah, yeah that's the mustard. That's definitely the, the relish. And you get fifty percent of your vitamin C in a serving. Oh, wow. So. Back by popular man, I guess we gotta do the number rating. Yeah, seems like we got, nobody liked the thumbs up. We got buried by the, we're doing the, th the thumb rating, which is, I guess, fair. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so you know the way it goes, mm. Lou. Three, above three means you would get it again. 
four or above means you would recommend somebody to come out of their way and get this mm -hmm. again. I would, I'm actually... For the relish, because I mean, you get dog anywhere, but for this relish, for this experience, you saw the inside, it's cool in there, old fashioned, old building, 1928, same yeah. building, I'm pretty sure. I think they had a fire at one point, but pretty sure it's close to the same place they were at before. I'm at a, I'm at a four, two, three, I think. Boom, yeah. liked it. The only thing, for me personally, I saw, heard the guy order a well-done dog. Yeah. I regretted that I ordered first because a nice, crisp, well-done dog might have been good. Yeah. And I don't know what type of hot dog that was, but I wish it were a little bit bigger. I mean, I know that the, the the hot dogs come from a local place. It's in their, like, their breakdown. I'll put the name of the place where they get the hot dogs yeah, from. Please. Um, but it's a really good quality dog. Yeah, no, it's nice. Um, yeah, being a, 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 my first time here, I didn't know that was an option to get it well done. The don't, I mean, walking into a place blind, not knowing how they do things is, is one thing, but. We did pretty good. I sounded like <laughs> I knew what I was talking about, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm glad that we, we put our toppings on ourselves. I was wondering, cause like it's, do you put the order with the toppings on it and they give it to you like that? I was wondering why I have yeah, to order no, it works. You get free reign. So if you want to have a relish sandwich, you can slap the relish on there. Yeah. Uh, 100 slices, uh, little scoops of relish, as much everything. So very, yeah. They don't make them like that anymore. They don't make re restaurants no. like that. I feel no. Like. It's it's got the nice drive-in kind of feel to it. It's other places like other places in Connecticut that have the same kind of feel to it. But like this is like vintage, 1928. You don't get that anymore anywhere. So you went four two three. I'm gonna go a little higher because like I think just the overall experience and the food and the relish. Yeah. That got me at a four five. Four I five. Feel good about that. No, I'm I'm leaning towards you. The more we're talking about it, because. When are you going out of your way to get a hot dog somewhere? Nowadays, rare. Yeah, where like, this is classic mm. food, classic good hot dog. Survived the 1928. Well, it survived World War II. It survived everything, the Kennedy assassination. It survived it all, and we're here eating dogs out of the same place, and I love it here. I mean, this, in the summer, this place has to be bumping. This is Rocket. definitely a, a summer hot spot. I can definitely see little cruise shows happening here with the cars and everything all over the place. This is great. This Think is a, about open those garage doors up, oh, Lou. Yeah. You get the air in there. No, this is a, this is a nice vintage spot. If, if you're in Connecticut, if you're rolling through, if you live in Connecticut and you haven't had Blackies, like someone like me has never been here, it's it's inconspicuously in the middle of nowhere in Cheshire, Connecticut. Waterbury, I think. Is it a Cheshire? It's like on the line. line I think. Waterbury, Cheshire. It's wine. like right over here, and you know what? It's 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 this is, this is an institution. It's great. I mean, that was awesome. I'm glad we did this, and I'm glad we're checking out more of these spots here in Connecticut because uh, I mean, we can only do so much fast food. We yeah, gotta try. No, we gotta nice change things up. Change a pace a little bit. I say that as we're going to go film fast food again. Yeah. So, so. but this was worth it, I think. And yeah, it's, definitely. Uh, definitely so. worth the stop. And I'm happy this is your first time, Lou, and you enjoyed it. Yes, definitely. So, and I'm glad we're gonna do more of this stuff. Uh, so, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Hit like comment do all those things you're supposed to do on a youtube channel we greatly appreciate that and watch watch all the videos watch them multiple times that'd be nice that'd be great for us yeah, right it'd be yeah. so fantastic Please. uh link in the description for our t-shirt store our t-shirt store t-shirt store yeah, sure sure our tiktoks our social media accounts all that good stuff uh, that's it i'm big lou and that's cousin Vito. we eat I don't know. No one watches the end of the video anyway, according to YouTube analytics. What's I know. I know. I, you know what? I put the little things at the end too, and I said, "Who's so, why?" Only I watch it. I want to see my burned Taco Bell downline. Yeah.